really like hot on everyone. Right, don't go there. Get back, get so weird. You got like that cheesy garlicky sort of. I'm a little bit apprehensive, but I've never ate anything that's still alive. I think she's really famous because she's beautiful as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi guys, welcome back. We're on Tour Dridges. If you're new here, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK. We are currently in Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand. I have 370 baht. At the current exchange rate, that is $10. We are going to Jod Fair Night Market, one of the most famous night markets in Bangkok, to spend $10 and see what we can get. I'm super excited to try it because I've heard so much about this night market. We've been to Bangkok five times and never tried this night market. So let's see what we can get for $10. Looks like our train's just about to come. So let's get on the train and let's get the Jod Fair night market. There it is. Perfect timing. So we're just jumping on the Ceylon line, change over onto Metro, and then I think about six stops and we should be there. Yeah, we're pretty out of the way at the moment. Here, we finally made it. Oh my gosh, that was long winded, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a long way. Where we're standing seems to be like near nothing. <laughs> really, yeah. But we're right next to a BTS, so it gets you everywhere. It just takes us about 50 minutes I'm to get. I'm exhausted. Um, is it just me? Is it really hot? Right, see you next time. See you in the next episode. Subscribe. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> we kind of went out drinking last night, For a so change. I think the hangover's like kicked in late. I felt fine all day, and now I've got like a headache, hot sweats. No, I feel good. I think it's kicked in. I feel hungry. I haven't eaten nothing all day. You liar! I haven't eaten a lot all day. <laughs> so this is Jod Fair's Note Market. This is one of the most popular and famous note markets here in Bangkok. Super excited to explore it. Loads of food, seen beer already, so yeah, let's do that. First of all, I've spotted some massage. A foot massage, 250 baht. If you want one of them, go to Chuck Chuck Market, they're 150 baht. Uh, there you go. I think this is going to be a pricey market but suppose it's really good i swear that looks like a boat does that look like a boat with the shipping containers on top whoa this looks good we're going to do our standard walk around once and then decide on our food and then get it so far first impression very busy and very different to normal note because it's a bit more like upper class it's like beige tints and little yeah. like style to everything proper. to fit in seems like you'd have to pay a lot of money to be based here on the outside, you've got like almost all like restaurants, like permanent fixtures, and then in the middle, you've got like tents selling all sorts of like snacky things. Well, look at these fishies. So you can probably pick. Yeah, had like fish, crab, lobster. This place is humongous. We're still going. We haven't done everything yet. Yeah, it's massive. We've landed at the clothes section. We've got some trainers, tops. So they're like little boutiques. A lot of elephant prints. This is really nice stuff. Just saw sort of now. Um, really could do get my nails done i think it was like gel polish was like Cheap 200 price. yeah it's about 200. Not it's not bad these shirts are really nice though there's so many like different things jewelry everything you want we've got some nice jewelry here a uh cannabis thing there selling all the different sort of flavors and things and but i don't really know a lot about weed but um yeah you can get it here. there's kind of like a second part of the market which is where we are now and it's a lot quieter but we're gonna go and head back. Maybe that one's a bit more food. Beer station. Beer station. Good stop here for a beer. Daredevil, we're starting off with Durain ice cream. Obviously tried Durain quite a few times. Quite like it, but never had it in ice cream. It's gonna be a little bit weird having it like a dessert because it's quite, it's almost like a savory thing, isn't it? Look at that, and it's a big one. Oh, it is big, isn't it? That one. Yeah. Oh, you get a little topper. Oh, look at that. Sexy. Sexy. Thank you. Right, I'm going to dive straight in. It's actually smoking, where it's obviously really, really warm and really, really cold. Science and all that stuff, but I'm going to go straight in. So weird. So weird. You've got like that cheesy, garlicky sort of deranged taste, but then you've got like almost like that ice cream taste coming through like a vanilla-y taste it's actually it's actually nicer than the fruit what's that eat that what is it that's hard it's like sugar yeah it's like the, sort of like a honeycomb but it's drain flavored 
Yeah, very weird. But I think you should try it. No, really? You, yeah, because you don't like drying, so. I don't want it to go on my hands because I know it can stink your hands out. Yeah. I'm not a lover of the rain, I'm going to admit. But I'll try it for you guys. Oh. To be honest, that is a bit weird. It's, a bit, it's, it's better than the it's, fruit though. Yeah, it's nice because you've got like um, the ice cream flavour, but then you have got like, like you're eating garlic and onions. Yeah. And cheese or something. Here you go, have it back because it's melting. You need to lick it. Look at the edges. Uh, oh my god, there's bunny rabbits. Bunny rabbits. Ah, look at these. Hamsters. Oh, look at bunnies. You can get pets here. Oh my gosh, this is the best market ever. No, you can get anything in this market. At the moment, I'm seeing a lot of seafood. There's like lobster, shellfish, so much. A lot of the rain, if you like your the rain. Yeah, it smells like the rain everywhere. Oh, and we've got like secondhand shoes here. This is what we like, secondhand trainers. But I'm not going to look. We've got no more luggage space. Oh, but look at them. So far, I've counted three rows we've been down. I think there's maybe two more, and you've got like clothes at the beginning, and then you go on to the food. So we're just working our way along. So we're looking for like different random food to try, like things we haven't tried before. Hence the uh, Doreen ice cream. Never tried that before. Quite enjoying it though. You, are you enjoying it? I think I am, yeah. I think we need something for me next. Yeah. Something sweet. Do some bugs. Been there, done that, not doing it again. <laughs> We've got these jumping shrimps though, we've never tried that. Might have to try that, well, Ben, I'm not into seafood. The good thing about here as well, there's a lot of bins. We, yes. always, str we always struggle for bins in Thailand, finding them. Yes, one thing, like Chat Chat Market, no bins. Oh my God, it takes forever. There is bins, but it's like in two spots in the whole market. So you have to walk around with your thing in your hand to hold on until you get to a bin section. Chocolate. Oh. Yeah, so these are like salted eggs, look really weird never even seen anything like it in my life so we thought we'd try it I'm not really sure what this is but it said salted egg stuffed Some with more. chocolate wow. oh my god <laughs> i didn't expect that it's like a rich dark chocolate and the Alpha is like really doughy, it kind of feels like play dough. So, is it like an egg? No, nothing like an egg. I don't think it is an egg. I think that's just its name. That chocolate's wow, well nice. It's like fudge chocolate. Mm. I, I can't really, this is no texture or really flavour the outside. It's just, I'm just getting loads and loads of chocolate. Mm. That's so good. There's 20 bucks. It's quite small, but it's delicious and full of so much flavour. Well, it's getting busier now. So as the sun goes down, it gets twice as busier. We've got to find like the, the quiet sections. This one's not too bad. Jazzy shirts there for uh, 250, not bad. And again, all these trainers. Oh yeah, NFL shirt. Rian's like banging to like the American sports jerseys at the moment. Got her basketball from Chatter Chack Market and now she's going for an American football shirt. How much? 150? 150? Yeah. She tempted a little bit. That's quite smart. I like the black and blue one. Yeah. Yeah, it's 150, it's not too bad. Not an Italian shirt. Oh, this one? Green. Eagles. Eagles, yeah, it's cool. Not on a challenge day. Yeah, we're on a money challenge. What are we doing looking at clothes? It's all about food. We've just seen this cartoon place and they're doing like pancake cartoon characters. 69 baht and I would love to get SpongeBob. It is cool. But look at that. It's Forever Friends, isn't it? She's well good. Oh, it's Care Bears, isn't it? Is Care that right? Bears. Care Bears. Yeah. Yeah, there. Oh, Care Bears. Hang on, that is. All right, we've been walking around for so long now. I've told Ben, take control and pick what you want. So. Here we go, guys. What's he gonna go for? Here we go. What have we got here? We always go for pork. We've got chicken, pork, whatever you want, Ben. What's mala chicken? Here you go, Ben. Mala chicken. Mala chicken. Sweet? Huh? Is it sweet? Spicy, Ben. Spicy. Spicy. Uh, mala chicken. One mala chicken. We got. What do you want? Pork. Just pick what you want, Ben. One mala chicken. And one traditional pork. Thank you. Thank you. Come and 
So they pick them up and then put them straight on the griddle. Two minutes, right? Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. So that was 30 baht for the, the two, the pork and the chicken. So yeah, not bad. Right, I'm going to go straight in with the mallet chicken. He asked if I wanted spicy, he put some extra spice on it. So I'm expecting this to have a little kick because I know what Thai is like. They like it spicy. Yes, it is spicy. <laughs> but the spicy is like, it's like a peppery spicy. Very spicy, a bit of a kick, but delicious chicken. It's very moist and just falls apart and it's literally fallen off the stick. Love it. So I'm going to try the pork because I'm a massive pork fan. Mm. It's kind of like a paprika spice. It's really nice marinade. Maybe like a Cajun. That pork's got like loads of flavours, like the fatty bits. And where it's grilled, it gives it a lot more flavour. That's really good pork. I know. Mm. The fattier, the better. Who this person is making these fruit smoothies in Jod Market because the queues are mad. There's like red rope stopping, there's a security guard, and it's all like a bit of a big thing. Look, security guard there. This one here. I mean, she must be sort of like famous. Yeah, Hello. Everyone's recording though. We found out who that girl was. She's the most popular smoothie maker, she's like a YouTuber as well. But we're just gonna get this dancing shrimp. I've heard loads about it and you've got to try it apparently. Um, I just saw a girl have one, it looks like pretty crazy, but I'm quite excited for it. So it's 79 baht. So it's quite pricey, but I know this is a food challenge, but we feel like this is a challenge to try some weird stuff today. Let's go and fish him. Let's fish them out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to try and drop it in. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant. So you've got some lemongrass, ginger, loads of all these ingredients mixed in with them. Thank you. What is it? What is it? Chicken. Chicken. It's very chewy chicken. I don't think that is chicken. It's got like a soya flavour to it. I don't really like it. No, it's like... Mine, maybe mine's squid. Yeah. But it's true. Mine was a bit like, sort of like the cartilage of the chicken. Wasn't that great? I'm a little bit apprehensive. But I've never ate anything that's still alive. So I'm like a little bit like, not scared, but a little bit apprehensive. So... I might oh jump out. Look at him. But let's try and... Uh, eat one. Oh! oh. Ready? One, two, three. It's good. I ain't got a lot of taste. The actual salad's quite spicy and it's got like a lime. Oh, let's cover it up. Let's cover it up, they're jumping out. But yeah, it's weird. It's just weird eating something. I tried to chew it really quickly because I was scared it was going to jump up my mouth. It's almost like, um, have you ever tried a papaya, a papaya salad you get in Thailand, which is really spicy? That's like this salad, but then with the shrimp on top. So they're jumping around in your mouth and you put them in there? No, I chewed really quick because I was quite scared that was going to... But they're crunchy, but where they're still alive, they're like crunchy. So it's crunchy and then it's squidgy inside. But when you eat, uh, normally when you eat a prawn or a shrimp, it's like just soft. But this is crunchy. I'm going to try them, aren't I? Yeah, try them. I'm going to give them a try. I think they're dying now, they're not really jumpy. <laughs> oh, one just jumped out of the bowl. No, not that big of a swimming pool. Uh, Mm. It's spicy, isn't it? That went too bad. No, it's not too bad. It's not fishy. Oh, look at them still going. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I've got like mainly lemongrass and spice. They've just got a crunch to it. All the ingredients mixed up in it goes really well. Like you've got the crunch from the jumping squid, and then all the like spices and herbs coming through. Really delicious. Oh, this one just jumped on my arm. He's trying to get away. Get him back in. That looks a bit cruel cool, though. Yeah, it probably is, but I'm sure that it's a, what a way to go. Jumping out of the bowl. And on on to on to on on to the judges. So yeah, they're, they're famous. We we've crumbled. We're gonna try the famous smoothie. It's four dollars, 150 baht, but everyone's raving about it. Supposedly she's really famous all over YouTube. So yeah. We're try it. Basically, we're gonna like fail our challenge just because of this. But the like attention it was getting was like, why not do it? Mango. Mango one. Mango one. Mango one. Mango one.
Yeah, so we're going for a mango. But I'm expecting high things. I'm anticipating this to be good. I want a selfie with her. I think she's really famous because she's beautiful as well. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. You're very famous. You're famous. Yeah. <laughs> so she looks like syrup in it. I reckon mango is definitely the most popular. Yeah. And then she's got someone helping, maybe her mum helping. little selfie there as well. <laughs> uh, that's my thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Got to get a thumbnail, haven't you? Let's try the famous $4 mango smoothie here in George Fair Market in Bangkok. It's cold, it tastes like mango and it's sweet. Everything. Everything you can ask for in a fresh fruit smoothie. That's good enough then. <laughs> it's really nice. I think it's just her look. She's very beautiful and um, I think that's what it is as well. I'm not sure. Let us know down below why she's so popular, why she's so famous. We just went there because the whole crowd was there and everyone's trying to get a picture. And she's even got like a security guard. Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah. Like, I see what you mean. It's, it's so cold, so fresh. Absolutely lovely. It's a little bit, it's a little bit watery, but that just makes it very refreshing. It's very good. Mm. First, first clinching. Is that the word? First clinching, it is. Yeah, first I'm clinch. really thirsty. So I'm really glad it's not like a thick one and it's a one you can drink. Yeah, it's very good. So, I'm um, sorry, but it's <sighs> to our challenge, it's gone. Yeah. Because we found this lady and she made us break our challenge. So, the yeah, tender yeah. order challenge is over. So, uh -huh. let's go Bail. and get some dinner. Yeah. <laughs> we had no dinner. You know what we like? We love pad thai. So, I think we're going to get a pad thai each. We've ruined the challenge. $10 challenge fail, but Jordan Night Market, very good though. So let's get Pad Thai. I have to say, this is probably not the best market to do a challenge at, because it's not the cheapest. And there's a lot of seafood here as well. And I don't like seafood, so there's not a wide selection of things I like. There's not that much sweet stuff, and I'm a sweet person. It's not my best, but it is good. It is like a posher version of a street food art market. So when we got that um, the smoothie from the from the nice lady, the nice lady, yeah, the, <laughs> the security was all, like really like hot on everyone. Right, don't go there. Get back, get back. But when we, we when we went forward, I don't know because we're tourists, he was like welcoming. He was like telling us to go to the front, being like really nice. It pays to be like a tourist sometimes, but um, yeah, we was, we were treated very well. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that was all my fault. Right, we've just done our maths, working things out, and we're. 375 so we're five over at the moment we haven't really ate anything and we do really want a pad thai so we are gonna fail it but we don't care because we're eating delicious thai food living the dream if you comment and say oh you failed you're rubbish we are just deal with it yeah so we've been like going around 20,000 times that's it we've walked past here about three times yeah we found the famous pad thai that's cheap no it's not famous but it's cheap we saw it earlier, I was like, oh, that's quite quite cheap. Yeah, we'll go back there and couldn't find it. It's like a maze. This, ma this market is like a maze. Like, so many, every, every, everything looks the same. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sit in. Oh, wow. Good. I love pad thai. So good. It's like my favourite. My favourite Thai food is pad thai. I know you probably say that's quite boring, but I love her time. Thank you. Have and cap. These are big portions as well. Cap. Just gone for pad toys. We're going to take away these and go home and eat them. Yeah. I am absolutely shattered. As we said, we were out to 1 a.m. last week. <laughs> we've gone out filming today, but we've got like an hour home and it's nearly nine o'clock. Get an haircut there, isn't it? <laughs> I would do, but maybe not. When we said it was busy earlier, it's a lot more busier now. We can barely move. We're moving like at a snail. 
It's like penguins, isn't it? Yeah, we're like barely moving. Yeah, we're going to end the video here, but make sure you watch the next video because we're, we're going to do the biggest food tour ever in Chinatown, so subscribe. Nothing coming upon me, no? Give me a shout if it does. Nothing. Right. Is it alright? Your finger's like on it and that. It's not it's waiting for right. the start. Right, one, two, three. Right. Uh. <laughs> We've just seen this uh, just seen this um what are you doing? Is that light there? Right, just speak to me. Yeah.